Hey guys, look what I've got. So this is the all new FMS FCX24 Lumior. And this car is amazing. It's like a rock crawler and a rock bouncer all combined into one little car. So in this video I'm going to show you all the details. Here it is guys, the FMS FCX24 Lumior Edition. And we all know that the FCX24 and the FCX18 are really really good cars. But this is slightly different. So this has got a completely different body style. So the weight distribution is a bit different. The battery is placed at another place. And it's got very big wheels. So is it still as capable as the other FCX24s? <laughs> Let's find out. So let me first get everything out of the box and show you what's inside here. Inside the box you will find a card, a transmitter, a 380 mAh LiPo battery, a tool, preload clips and a charger. So let's start with the transmitter. So it runs on 4 AAAs which you need to supply of your own. So this is the 3 channel version from FMS and these are really good you know. It's got a good feel to the hand, capable of one hand driving you know and it's very sturdy. So here's your channel number 3 and this is for controlling the 2 speed gearbox. So over here you will have your on off switch, your throttle trim, your steering trim etc and you will have a secret menu inside here to uh, change the drag brake but overall the transmitter is very nice and here is the car guys what do you think of it well i really really like this there are three different color options but i chose the green one you know i think that the green just pops and this thing yeah just screams go off road i really like that so here in the front you can see the front bumper there are no leds inside here but there is an led bar here on the roof and that's pretty nice to see so here in the front you can see the portal axles inside the portal axles are metal gears so that's pretty nice there are just plastic gears inside here but that's all fine it's got ball bearings throughout and here you can see the axle mounted servo so the servos of fms are pretty damn good you know i really like those so here you can see the servo saver that's pretty nice to see and in the rear of the car uh, of course you've got your portals inside this little compartment you will put your battery and that's a bit fiddly to open but i will show you that in a bit and here you can see the shocks and they already put some oil already in there so that's pretty nice to see when we turn the car around you can see the underneath you know you You've got plastic drive shaft, plastic linkages, but these just fine, you know, it works just perfectly. Here you can see another servo, and this is for the two-speed gearbox over there. Hidden inside there is your uh, uh, motor, and here you will find the electronics. I really like the body style. The figures inside there with the helmet and the steering wheel, the roll cage. I think that this car really looks amazing. So let me throw in the battery and show you when it's on. To install the battery you have to remove this little lid and that can be a bit fiddly. So what I do you know there's a little tiny uh, yeah, piece that you can grab over here and just pull on it and it should come off. So it's just hold in place by some little hooks as you can see. So this is your battery compartment. The car is powered on and just look at the roof light. I really like that. So to turn the roof light on and off, you can press the bite button, you know, once uh, to turn it on or off. So that's pretty awesome. And look at the steering angle. So the steering angle is pretty nice, but you can do some free mods to make it even better. Uh, but that's for a different video because I also want to convert this one into a four wheel steer edition. But uh, yeah, that's for a different video. So power wise, you know, this is at the low modulation. Just look at how controlled you can drive this little car. I really like that, you know. It just goes over up to go so nice. So this is high speed. Well, and that's pretty fast. So yeah, whoa, where it is? Oh, here it is, guys. So I really like that. So there's only one little thing left to do, and that's take it outside for a spin. This is the first obstacle that we're going to do and if a 124 scale or 118 scale car is any good then it should go all the way up this big boulder. If it can't do that then I'm curious to see how it does the rest. So let's see how the Lemure does it. Hey. 
And without any problem, so let's go to the next one. This is the next challenge, so the car has to go to a bit of water and then with slippery tires it has to go all the way up that big boulder. So with this Prova on the tires I'm curious to see if the Lemure can do it, so let's find out. Well, it's struggling a bit, but I think with a bit of momentum we can get up there. Yeah, here we go, on to the next one. Almost none of the 118 or 124 scale cars can get up this big boulder. And that's all got to do with the angle. So the FCX 18 was able to get up there, so let's find out if this Lemure can do it. Not a chance, so let's go to the next. Now we're going to find out how the Lemure performs on a slope, so let's go. Oh, here it goes, slippery. Well, it did it, let's try that again. Let's try that again with a more difficult line. And here it goes. Well, I'm surprised it can do that. Now let's see how it performs on the boulders. So the weight distribution is a bit yeah, different from some other models from FMS because of the battery is mounted in the rear of the car and yeah, it's completely different body style of course. So let's see how that affects this little car. Well, it does a pretty good job if you ask me. It's, I'm a bit surprised. Let's go up again. So the suspension is a bit too stiff in my opinion, you know, to, for the weight of the car they should be a little bit more soft, but that's for a different video, then we are going to address that. So let's see if we can find some traction with these tires, because yeah, there's almost no aggressive profile on there. So rock crawling is a bit difficult for this one, but you see still we are able to go up there. So let's go any further, yes it does. Yeah, so yeah, I'm pretty surprised about this car. So now I will just give you some driving footage. the driving with the FCX24 Lemure edition and this car really enjoyed me just bashing over the big boulders or driving over the field and even some rock crawling this car yeah really enjoyed me and I really like this little car is it perfect well in my opinion it's not perfect yet so look at the steering angle so the steering angle isn't great and sometimes I had some difficulties just going around some obstacles or finding the right lines but there is a free mod which you can do to improve the steering angle but that's for a different video. Another thing that I noticed are the shocks. So the shocks didn't compress all the way in when driving over the big boulders and that's a bit of a downside. So do some mudding about the shocks is really suggested. Another thing are the tires. So for bashing around these tires are just great. But if you want to do some rock rolling these aren't the best you know. It's just too slippery. If you want to do some rock rolling I really suggest to get a tire something like this with a much more aggressive profile on that. But for this little car we are going to change a lot about it so i bought a lot of upgrade parts just let me show you those so i bought myself a complete front axle why well we are going to make this little car into a four wheel steering car and therefore we are going to need another servo i bought some weights that goes in the front i've got some metal parts i've got more metal parts 
more metal parts, more metal parts, and of course a set of tires. So we are going to change a lot inside this little car. But for this video guys, that was it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.